What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another day of my transformation as I train to become my strongest self after getting injured a month ago. In my last vlog, you guys saw all the progress I was able to make in just one month and today officially starts month two. And I'm really excited about today's workout because we're gonna be training chest and today's skill of the day is gonna be planche push-ups. Now, if you watched the last vlog, I maxed out at three planche push-ups. So today we're gonna start working on that and improving those reps. And the majority of the comments I always get is how do you train for these exercises? And you're gonna see that right here on today's vlog. So get out a notepad so you can save this workout for your next chest day, or you can just screenshot this video. I'll be writing all the workouts on the screen. Or even better, just download the Harrier Pro app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or by hitting the link down in the video description below. With the Harrier Pro app, you'll get this workout Workout and all my personal workouts and workout programs right in your pocket. It's basically like having me as your personal trainer and workout partner. But before we get into today's chest workout, we need to gear up and then warm up. These straight arm lateral tap raises are gonna warm up our arms to be able to apply pressure and force with our arms locked out. The pseudo bench press warms up the pushing motion of a full planche as it simulates the same movement path with a lot less weight. The ring taps is another great warm up for strengthening your straight arms, as well as the shoulder strength, traps, and lats that you'll need to be able to maintain a full planche push-up position. And the rest of the stabilizing muscles responsible for the full planche push-up. If you don't have a pair of rings, you can do straight arm shrugs with your arms locked out. Tuck Victorian raises are gonna be another great warm up for this routine, warming up and preparing your shoulders, as well as the antagonist muscles to the full planche, making your full planche stronger when you're ready to train for it in your workout. All right, now we're ready to get this workout started. For everybody that's been following along on the journey, you already know how these workouts are structured, but for everyone else that's just tuning in, we always have some type of skill training before we get into the main lift. And to be honest, the skill training is actually the main part of the workout. So today's chest day and the skill that's gonna accompany it is gonna be planche push-ups. It's pretty much the ultimate pushing exercise. And this exercise is really tough. It takes a lot of energy and strength. So the name of the game is gonna be quality over quantity. And just like you would only do just a couple reps in your heaviest set, that's what we're gonna be doing today too with the full planche push-ups. So to start off, we're gonna go for just a couple sets of the full planche push-up with a really low rep range until we break form. Then we're gonna start going into the progressions. And we'll basically be training the same way that you would with weights in the gym. We're gonna be breaking down different pieces to the full planche push-up. And we're gonna be doing progressions that work the same movement path, but with a lot less weight so we can increase our repetitions and keep working past the point of fatigue. And that's exactly how you eventually unlock your full planche push-up with high reps and perfect form. And by the end of this month, I'll be doing another video where we'll see exactly how much we progressed and how many more planche push-ups we can do. My goal by the end of this month is to be able to do at least five with perfect form. So in my last vlog, when I maxed out my planche push-ups, I was able to do three with perfect form. That's why in today's routine, I'm only doing two reps per set, giving myself more energy to be able to utilize perfect form and to be able to do more sets, of course. But on my last set, I did go for three reps just to touch my max. When you use higher parallel bars like this, it's actually a lot harder because you have to lift up your body a lot more than when you're on the floor, you already start kind of in a full planche position. So if I could do three on the bars, that actually means I could probably do four at least on the ground, which means Means we're making progress. So let's move on to the next hardest progression. We're gonna be going for assisted full planche push-ups with the resistance band. This is gonna simulate the same exact movement path, pretty much just doing full planche push-ups, but we're alleviating some of the weight using a resistance band. So instead of just stopping because we're fatigued and we just otherwise can't continue to train the full planche, we're gonna work past our point of fatigue by alleviating some of that weight and continuing to train the full planche assisted with the resistance band. Basically like a drop set, and this is exactly how you build your strength through calisthenics. And for everyone else that's following along, if you can't do any of these exercises, you can literally do every single one of these exercises with a resistance band. If it's too hard, just choose a thicker resistance band. The thicker the band, the more resistance or assistance it will give. So yes, even if you're a total beginner, you can still do full planche push-ups and train for them too by using a resistance band like we're doing. And over time, as you get stronger, you'll be able to work your way to a thinner, thinner band, eventually not needing the band anymore, especially if you utilize the rest of the progressions that we'll be using in the rest of this workout. That breaks down the different components to the full planche push-up as well. But the way I'm doing these assisted planche push-ups with the resistance this band we're still taking it to the next level because we're doing it on rings and this is gonna be a lot harder than if you were doing it on the flat ground or holding onto parallel bars because with rings it comes a great stabilization factor it's really hard just to hold your body in place when you're on rings let alone in a full planche position so if you can learn to do it comfortably on rings then it's gonna be ridiculously easy on anything else and that's why we're doing it on rings one of my favorite quotes and philosophies when it comes to training don't ask for a lighter burden ask for a stronger back basically don't try to find an easy way out or an easier way to do something if Fact, try to make it harder on yourself and stay consistent and diligent enough until that becomes easy. And that's basically what led me into stuff like this. Basically, your hardest stuff becomes your warm up, and then you just keep evolving from there. All right, so we've exerted our full planche push up strength. Now we're gonna start working down progressions that are gonna break down the different components to the full planche push up. This next one coming up is gonna break down the specific components of pressing from the 90 degree position 
up to a full planche push-up. So basically the concentric part of the full planche push-up. And remember, these are actually really heavy lifts. So we're not going for high reps. We're just going for a low amount of reps with the best quality of form. I'm actually only doing one rep at a time. It's kind of like pen lay rows. So you press and then you let go and then you press and let go. And in between each rep, you do want to rest. I'd say about three seconds, five if you're really fatigued. And remember, if you can't do this, you can always just strap on a resistance band on your feet or on your hips and you'll definitely be able to do this exercise regardless of your fitness level. If you need a resistance band, you can always pick up mine at thenx.com slash shop. Along with weight belts, parallel bars, weight vests, which you can also find at chrisharrier.com. Basically all the equipment that you need to create a home calisthenics gym to take your training to the next level. Pump is real in this workout. We're ready to move on to the next exercise. We just focused on the concentric portion of the planche push-up, pushing. Now we're gonna focus on the negative portion. So we're gonna start from the full planche position and lower ourselves as slow and controlled as we can. Same thing, just a couple reps each set, really focusing on your quality. And just like every other exercise, if you're having trouble or you can't do it, you can always use a resistance band. And keep that in mind for every single progression that we do today so I don't have to keep repeating that. And on my last set, I always like to do it with my hands flat on the ground because as you guys have learned from the vlog series, it's a lot harder than doing it holding on to bars. You have a lot less grip and you need a lot more stabilization. And we're gonna do these on the dip bars because as I said before, it's a lot harder and it's better training for you. I actually should have done the previous progression on the dip bars as well, but I forgot. I'm definitely feeling it by now. Now we're ready to move into the next exercise. We're gonna be going for tuck planche push-ups. Just focusing on the pushing portion of the planche push-up. And because we're in a tuck position, our body's a lot shorter, it's gonna be a lot easier to press versus in a full planche position with our body completely stretched out. But the form should still be the same in a tuck planche. You wanna stay in a horizontal position and be pushing completely flat and pushing from that angle. We're just gonna be doing a couple reps. Whew. Man, this is a killer workout. You gotta join me next time, Ozzy. Uh, when I recover after my I last night's workout was <laughs> yeah, fucking <it> was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, next vlog, I'm gonna make sure that Ozzy works out with us. But yeah, yesterday we got a good workout in my living room. Here's a little clip from Ozzy's Instagram. We were training till 2 a.m. last night and we actually made hella gains. I'll show you the routine we did in the next vlog. All right, so we're almost done training skills. You guys should definitely be feeling it by now. I know I am. We just have one more exercise of skill training and then we're gonna finish off this workout with the main lift for the day. And we're gonna be going for 90 degree pumps. It's really gonna emphasize on the middle pushing portion of the planche push up. Not all the way at the bottom, not all the way at the top like we already trained, but pumping right in the middle. Just give it a couple pumps. We're gonna be going for three sets. The goal for this exercise exercise is to increase the range of your pump. You may start off with barely a pump or a really small one, and eventually the more you do it, you'll be able to pump higher, expanding into full planche push-ups eventually with the combination of all the other progressions that we trained today. All right, your upper body should be cooked by now. We're gonna finish off this workout with our main lift, and these are gonna be lifts that are gonna increase your overall pushing power, which is greatly gonna complement the planche push-up. Of course, the more you can push, in a sense, the easier it's gonna be if you're developing your technique as well, which we already did. So we're gonna be starting off with three sets of incline bench press, and this is the last part of our chest as well that we would need to emphasize on our upper chest completing our entire chest as well as our triceps especially with the next exercise weighted dips which is a fundamental to calisthenics and pretty much one of the best ways to grow your chest and your triceps and of course doing dips on a dip bar with a lot of weight that's going to make doing anything on a dip bar a whole lot easier which is exactly what we need and to finish off we're going to be going for the pseudo bench press which is exactly the same type of press that you use in a full planche push-up except you're not going to have to worry about all the other muscles and things that come with maintaining a full planche you'll be able to focus on just in increasing the strength of the pushing portion and really focus and emphasize on that without having to lose strength, maintaining the rest of your body. That is gonna to complete today's workout. We're ready to get a physique check and a weigh in. 69 pounds, we are up in weight. We're definitely making some gains. I'm really excited about that, especially because I can still planche and I still feel pretty strong in my full planche push-ups. A lot of times when you gain one to three pounds, definitely five pounds, it feels so much heavier. Sometimes you just can't even full planche actually. So I'm really grateful I was able to go up in weight while still keeping the strength and the skills. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen at the end of the second month. But for now, you guys are just gonna have to subscribe and tune in so that you never miss out on a video. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. I can't wait to show you guys what I've been up to and the progress that I've been making. And don't forget, for more of me during the week and to have me as a personal workout trainer and workout partner, all you have to do is download the Harrier Pro app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or hit the link in the video description down below. You'll also get full access to this workout as well as all my personal workouts and workout programs, getting you in the best shape of your life, not just looking strong, actually being strong. So I'll be working out with you over on the Harrier Pro app. And if you haven't already, catch up on the vlogs that you've missed before I drop the next one. I'll see you then. Mad love. Peace out, baby.